Well, unpredictable, ABC's sees Whit Johnson has more from Los Angeles. And Whit, a large part of the U.S. could be in its path. Good morning. Absolutely, Robin. Good morning to you. Imagine something like this falling from the sky and then crashing down to Earth. We're at the Aerospace Corporation where they track these events. And in just a matter of days, a Chinese space station the size of a bus is expected to make its fiery plunge into Earth's atmosphere. Tiangong-1 launched in 2011, but the Chinese lost contact with it. And so now it's in a free fall, expected to make re-entry sometime around April 1st. Scientists, for the most part, believe that most of it will break apart and burn up before ever hitting the ground. Still, debris could fall just about anywhere, including a large section of the U.S. stretching from Northern California to New York. But scientists point out the odds of getting hit by a piece of space junk extremely low. It's only happened one time to a woman in Oklahoma back in 1997, and she was not hurt. Robin? Thankfully, she wasn't hurt. But that